In Nova Scotia, anyone wishing to construct an on-site sewage system on their property is required to have a qualified person assist them in selecting or designing a system and obtaining approval to construct an on-site sewage system. All systems must be installed by a certified on-site sewage installer. This video will demonstrate the replacement of a malfunctioning on-site sewage disposal system with a new sloping sand filter on-site sewage system. A sloping sand filter must be designed by a qualified person one who is an engineer. The installer obtains a copy of the on-site sewage approval and reviews the plan for the property. The installer contacts the qualified person and advises that he is installing the system and of the date that he will have the system constructed and left open ready for inspection. The qualified person will give Nova Scotia Environment three days notice of this date. The installer verifies the boundaries of the lot. Trees are removed from the area for the bed. And the bed is laid out on the lot as indicated by the QP1's design. The tank is uncovered and pumped by a certified pumper. The condition of the existing tank is assessed. If the existing tank is in poor condition, it should be removed or decommissioned by crushing and filling with stable material and compacting. A location for a new properly sized approved septic tank is determined, meeting minimum separation distances if possible. The site is excavated to the proper depth and raked level, allowing for a minimum of 2% slope on the pipe from the house to the tank, and a minimum of 1% slope from the tank to the bed. If a drain hole is present in the bottom of the tank, a plug must be glued into place. The bottom half of the tank is positioned into the hole and checked for level. The seam is wiped clean. Gasket material is applied. and the top of the tank is put in place. A stamp on the top of the tank identifies that it is an approved tank. The tank is connected to the house with 100 millimeter solid pipe and the pipe is supported.
baffle or T is placed in the tank on the end of the inlet pipe. The natural soil is excavated from the area of the bed to the dimension shown on the design. The bottom of the excavation must be level across its width and have a uniform slope as specified on the design. If the sloping sand filters to be located in the same area as an existing system, any existing pipe or rock in the immediate area of the filter should be removed to prevent the possibility of effluent short-circuiting into the old field and breaking out without adequate treatment. Filter sand is trucked to the site and the permeability is checked by the installer on every second load to verify that the permeability of the sand falls within the acceptable range. Sand is placed into the excavation. In this bed, separation to a neighboring well could not be met, so a liner is installed on one end of the filter for additional protection. Once the sand is in place, a level distribution trench is excavated into the filter sand to the depth and width shown on the design. A minimum of 125 millimeter of clean stone is placed in the trench and raked level. In a gravity-fed system, perforated pipe is assembled on top of the stone to the proper length and slope, one-third of the width of the trench from the back of the trench. The pipe is covered with 75 millimeter clean stone. If the bed is to be end-fed, one end of the distribution pipe is capped and the other end is connected to the septic tank.
Sealant is applied around all pipe connections to the tank. An effluent filter is glued onto the outlet pipe. A tighter fit may be achieved on the bell end of the pipe and a stainless screw may help hold the filter into place. The distribution trench and filter bed are covered with a geotextile material and left open. Water softener discharge may cause problems with the septic system. The water softener discharge has been removed from this system and a second line has been installed to take the discharge away from the septic system to another area of the property for disposal. An interceptor trench is installed to direct surface water around the system. The system is complete and left open, ready for inspection. The QP inspects the system and advises the installer that the system has been installed correctly and when the three-day notice has passed, the system may be covered. The lids on the septic tank are fastened down and the tank covered. 300 to 450 millimeters of final cover material is applied to the bed and raked level. Clean local backfill may be substituted for 200 to 350 millimeters of final cover, but a minimum of 100 millimeters of final cover must be placed on top. Seed or sod is applied to the bed. Hay or straw may be applied to the bed to help minimize erosion. When the system is complete, including seed or sod, the installer must complete a completion of work form and provide a copy to the qualified person. After a final inspection, the qualified person will complete the certificate of installation form and send copies to the approval holder, Nova Scotia Environment, the installer, and the building inspector. The septic system is now ready for the homeowner to use. To make the system last as long as possible, the homeowner should take proper care of the system, including having the septic tank pumped out every three to five years. More information on properly using an on-site sewage system can be found in the booklet, A Homeowner's Guide to Septic Systems.